Hey you, I'm Vu and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. Let's get started, shall we? So, during the last episode we survived a massive raid, but uh, that was also on my head, I would say, because we wanted to grab little old Ed here. Now, Ed is a female member, aged 30, 53 in total years, thanks to the cryo sleep, and has some relatively good skills. Now, I think Ed is going to be our supplement to one of our first deaths. So, oh, our second death uh, in the last episode. So, the second death was Val, the oldest member of our colony at age 90. Now, oldest person we've ever had around, and it's very interesting to see how it plays out, because your immunity isn't actually, uh, doesn't gain as fast as a standard healthy person. So if we take a look at Trado, for example, and look at their immunity gain speed, which will be under one of these listings here. Here we go, 100%. So if they get a disease, they will be able to survive it, no problems. Make sure they're resting and everything should be good. But um, Val, or little old Val, had immunity gain speed of what, about 80%, 81% or something? So, yeah. A little unfortunate, but oh, first things first. I think we have to deal with a few issues. We have a raid and another relationship. Now, these guys have been attacking us relentlessly, like, seriously. Oh, and that's massive. That's a really great start to this episode. We're not going to get anything done, are we? And the other thing I wanted to point out as well is we're missing like 99% of our traps here. Uh, and did they say they were attacking me? Like, darn it, I should have looked. Okay, so first thing first, it will be to do make sure restrictions have been set up. So area one, and we're also going to include this area here because we need to build a few more traps. Uh, I don't know about guns. Hmm, I'll have to think about it. So expand area one, just include this little area here, and that should be sufficient. And that'll just force people to work on it. Assuming we have the steel. Uh, 505 units. Okay, that means what, roughly five traps, because each trap is... What, 75, I think? Uh, build a copy. Oh, 70. Oh, maybe we can fit in a few more. I'll have to see. So, let's do one, two, and... That. Yeah, I suspect that's all the traps we're going to get in, uh, if they are attacking straight away. The other thought as well, if they are attacking mentally, they're on the right side. And we still actually have a wooden wall over here, which... You know, I probably should have fixed up. I know we've been distracted by many other things, many, many other things. So, you know what? Maybe if we cancel a couple of these traps and we put some turrets back up again, because they worked well last time. Uh, that said, they require components, don't they? Let's take a look. Not the shoddy spear, please. Improvised turret. Let's build a copy. And they require three components, and we don't have three components. Exactly. I lie. We have two sitting over there, so that's not too bad after all. Now, I'm going to place some. Um, one here and leave a gap of say one block and I don't know if we can build a wall in time. I suspect we won't but I'll be placing another one down there. Now will we still have enough components? Well we only had two uh, we only have two components in a stockpile which I'm assuming is probably down here. Well that's pretty full. Uh, there we are those are the two components but there are another two up here which yeah no we don't have enough for a second turret so no we're going to cancel that. And maybe I will consider, uh, continue on building a few more uh, steel um, traps. Should do the job. So I'm going to grab someone. Probably get Bat to do this straight away. But let's get you to work on the that turret. Uh, Stephen, we'll get you to work on some of the traps. How about we get you to pull, since you can't um, construct, we'll get you to haul it out of the way. Galga, you're not one of ours. Trader, you're consuming a simple meal. How about we get you to work on a steel deadfall trap? I like that idea. And who else have we got? Ed, you're moving inside. Right, that is probably the fastest way in, isn't it now? And where are the people? Oh, no, okay, so they it does look like they are attacking immediately after all. I really need to slow down and look at my events. Otherwise, we could be positioning ourselves very poorly. So, Ed, you should be getting inside very soon. Good. And I'm assuming the door's also been repaired even better. Can't complain there. Now, Crocodile, you can find me on. Same with you, Bauer. Okay. Can we find someone else? Actually, have we suspended this job? We need to suspend the cremate corpse's job, because this is taking forever. We've got too many pieces of clothing all around the place. Uh, let's see. Can Toxo work on a trap? You can. Let's get you over there ASAP. Who else can we grab? Uh, I suspect Falcon, even though it seems like he might be drunk now. It's still worth grabbing you anyhow. 
Uh, and getting you over and starting. So whereabouts are the raiders? Okay. So I'm out of curiosity now. What are you? Uh, what are you focusing on? Do, 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 do. You are attacking wooden doors, wind turbines, wooden doors, sandstone wall. Okay, sandstone wall is interesting because I think that's still internal to the. No, that's one of the external outside edges. So know that. Okay, so what we know from taking a look at this is some of the people are coming around the four-way and others are deciding the sandstone ball is a great way to enter into our base. That said, I don't think we have too many issues because we repair our things relatively fast. So let's continue playing things and making sure people are building traps. Okay, you've done a little bit of hauling. You guys are still doing more construction, even better. And so oh, they're going to be here ASAP. Can we just get someone to finish off the trap? How about we get you two? Bat's still doing that trap. Ah, oh, where's Bat? You're hauling more components in. Okay, so we're going to go everyone apart from Bat and Toxo. And get to the fight started. Let's see, you got melee weapon. You don't have a weapon. Crocodile, what's up with you? Why do you, why do you not have a weapon? <sighs> okay, so it's melee it is. Melee, melee, melee. I'm not too keen on the number of melee weapons we have, or a number of melee colonists. As I've said before, I prefer ranged. You know what, Stephen? We're going to swap that minigun of yours with a different weapon. Oh, I should have planned this out a little earlier. This is getting awfully close. Orange, I think you're fine. Bauer? Oh, I should have recruited everyone now. Let's see. Orange, wait, wait. Stephen was the person we told to get a different weapon, so we won't recruit you. Toxo, we can't. Sparkles? Oh. Try this again. You, 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 and not the wall, preferably. Now grabbing Bat, Crocodile, and Ed, and that should be fine. So we're going to recruit you guys, put you here, and then grab Bower and get you to swap another weapon around. I wonder, we should have grenades sitting around. We do. Now, this is going to destroy some traps. It could be worth it. Yeah, I'm going to give this a shot because I don't have any, many other options. I don't suspect we have much time either. Nope, we don't. <laughs> Interestingly enough, you're going to attack that wall. Fair enough. I won't stop you. And Stephen, did you grab your gun? You have. Excellent. So we're going to get you over here ASAP and start ordering people like we have before. Hey, Crocodile, you don't even have a weapon. I thought... No, you were a melee person and we started talking about this. Okay, we're going to give you the superior sandstone club at the very top, because it's the shortest walking distance, and then melee people on the outside edges. And hey, even Falcon, you got release animals. No, I don't like that actually. Can we? We're going to re restrict. Well, we're going to restrict so called um, ha uh, ha our husky freckles over here to Toxo. So uh, ha our husky will only follow Toxo around since Toxo can't fight. Should keep the dog safe. It does take an incredibly long time to get them ready. Okay, so that should be set up. You're grabbing weapons. Okay, melee people start sorting out. And Fu, even you're missing a weapon. Oh, I haven't planned this very well, have I? Uh, Fu, we'll give you the charge rifle. I think that's a really bad idea, but we're doing it anyhow. And what's happening with the steel spear? Um, not steel spear. Turret. Why are you not connected? There we go, that's connection. Should give us a little bit of power. And are they coming down around? They're nearly there. Uh, Toxo, you are going to build a trap. This should be interesting. Nope, you just grab materials. Can you actually build this? Do we have the components? No, we're missing one component. And of course that wasn't done in time. How about this? Toxo. Oop, Toxo. Can we get you to work on the on that on that turret first? So you may still be able to build it. And let's see, Ed is still coming over here. Trado, Steven. Let's see. Falcon, you're missing a weapon as well. Ah, uh, I should probably go I should have gone through everyone in the listing. Uh Huh? I think when Bauer just dropped his minigun, it's just warped through the wall and now Gauga has access to it. That's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, Bauer, uh, I probably should have pulled you up here a little faster. Falcon, we're going to give you a weapon now. This isn't looking good, but we can only do what we can. I think the pump shotgun is our next best thing. So, Steven, you're there. Trader, we'll pull you in a little closer. Same with you, Ed. And I think Bat's fine there. Sparkles, onto the front line. Okay, that's on it. They're right at the very top. That's not too bad. We can work with that. Amusingly, the uh, actual turrets here are shooting the plasteel wall. Good thing is it has a few hit points. Now, where's Toxo as well? You cowering? Uh, it just says you're still hauling it. Okay, but we do need to tell you not to run. Just We need to build the turret 
even under fire. Hopefully not friendly fire. And is that everyone? Okay, crocodile, we're going to get you up here as well. And I suspect we've just hit a bat. Not our bat, but a different bat. So these turrets are working. Okay, keeping it going. I swear Cassandra wants to kill us, honestly. You know, it's like almost like she isn't a friend. Okay, this is going to be interesting. This is way too many people. I'm afraid for this group just here. I, su I suspect that, that that bunch of people will be the ones that manage to overrun us, or at least get through a majority of the traps. Okay, Orange will order you out just over here, probably, because we need another melee person on the right, and that's those people sorted. Toxo, you're still working on that. Fu, you're still running up to grab it. Okay, looks like everyone that we can grab is still moving. And keep them firing. Hopefully they don't make it to the first trap. I suspect that Bear might. Yep, Bear did make it. Oh, I made it to even two traps. Okay, that, that's... Uh, I'm a little disappointed about that. Because that will make our life just a tad more difficult. So we're going to get Fu down here. Probably keep them on the left edge. And let's see, Falcon... Uh, Falcon's got a weapon now. So we're going to grab Falcon. Shotgun front line. Quite literally. <laughs> and yet they are running... Okay, Bauer, can we get you to throw a grenade, like, up here? I know it's going to damage a few traps, but for you to throw it now. And explode. Okay, that's killed one person. That's helped us out. But I suspect that did just destroy a trap or two. And, yeah, you need to keep sort of center line. How about we tell you to f throw on the right side? And there we go. And they're fleeing. Nice. We didn't lose anyone. I don't suspect any of our own people. Talk any injuries and whoops, bow, I should have told you to stop. You suspect that if there are any traps, they will be completely destroyed after this throw. So making sure to unrecruit everyone here. Whoops. And that should be job done. Yep, and there goes a the grenade. People can flee from it. Cool. Well, that was quite something, wasn't it? Hey, we've even got one person down. Squid squid a tender. So what does a tender do? A cave tender. Okay, so you're better at medicine, cooking, and crafting. You're also pretty. Oh, we can always have pretty people around this colony, can't we? Because it definitely helps with the social aspect of things. You're a prosperophile. Okay. That's good. It means that if you do lose a body part, which, actually, let's see. Oh, you've certainly taken a few wounds, haven't you? 209% bleed rate. You'd be dead very fast if we don't do something about it. Now, do we have the rooms for it? I guess, technically, we do have the room for it. Your skills weren't too bad, so why not? Let's not build a copy, but mark it for prisoners. His intention, of course, was to make this left side prisoners, uh, prison rooms, which is actually happening a little faster than expected. So, how about this? Let's grab someone who is close by, which is no one. And you're consuming a fine meal, Orange. I wonder if we can grab someone else. Uh, smoked leaf joint. Hello, Bat. We're going to grab you to pick up Squid. Capture Squid. There we go, and that should be hopefully taken over to this bed. Yep, which is actually marked already. So there, that's worked out. Now, the second thing I realised um, at the end of last episode, because I normally do a bit of a check over just to see if I've missed anything, which is why I spotted uh, the missing traps here, it is just our restrictions. Now, when it comes to our col um, our prisoners, you'll notice one fact. Manutrition severe, and also Galga, who's actually extreme. There we go, severe illness I was, it was going to pop up eventually. So that's actually uh, partly my fault. Now, we don't actually have anyone on wardening, wardening at all. So, moving the four to a one, Stephen should get on to it ASAP. Uh, I will grab Stephen just to help uh, Galga. No, actually, Ed, let's get you to capture, because for some reason it counts when Galga falls out of bed. It, count, it counts as escaping. Then we'll grab Stephen to prioritize feeding Galga and that should be fine so Galga will still make it because uh, I can't afford either Galga or Pig uh, you know snapping out or breaking okay so I think that's worked out it's not the best raid we've had I and mean, we've lost a few items but we can always rebuild it and haul in all these still slags uh, still slag chunks which I don't think we even have the room no we don't even have the room for you know someone needs to be man uh, ma uh, Manning, not managing, manning this uh, crematorium. Yes. Okay. So let's see. How are things going? Okay. There's a lot of items to unrestrict. Well, let's quickly do that. Oops. Again, again, again. Uh, it looks like job. the job is done. Now there isn't anyone else still alive here, is there? No, I don't see any markers. 
Okay, looks like we're good. And uh, no one died, died at the top. No. Phew, that was pretty hard, but at least we've managed to deal with it. We're through. We haven't lost any more people. And it is a little unfortunate about a Val. I still am kind of annoyed at myself for that. Very tempt. It was very tempting at, at um, during the episode to restart, but I thought, you know, let's make it continue making it a little interesting. So we're just going to work with what we've got. Okay, let's speed things back up. And given that it is the 14th hour, there's not much more that we can do today. So I'll be letting our colonists have a little bit of a break. So I'll see you guys in just a sec. Hmm, lovely frozen morning with a temperature of minus 14 or minus 13 now. It is warming up a little. Yeah, put that in quotes, a little. Minus 13 is still freezing. Hmm. The things we can work on today is, of course, actually unrestricting people, putting it to the home area. It means I'll have access to the rest of these bodies, the rest of these items to haul, and... Okay, your rearming is still Deadfall Trap. Okay, that's fine, Falcon. I thought you were eating a dead body there for a second. And I would be none too pleased if that was the case. But the body should, yep, uh, as we can see here, get hauled around to the outside. Which means we don't really have to deal with too much. Now, we still have a lot of bodies to get rid of. So we'll have to re-enable the bill sometime soon. I suspect maybe once we get a bit of hauling done. Uh, which we're actually run out of, running out of room for. Hmm. Some of these items should actually be burnt anyhow. Because we're only trying to keep the best of stuff. Because that's what the burn apparel has been set to. Oh, and we've actually got a shield down here. Hello, I didn't realise we had that down there. Sparkles, get you to pull it inside. Not, uh, okay. Okay, so we don't actually have a place to store it anymore because the storage area is full. That is acceptable. So we're going to grab someone else who is a melee person, completely, who doesn't have a shield. Someone like Ed, for example. Yep, Ed's a good person. So we're going to get you to wear the shield, and that should stop it from deteriorating any further, or at this current rate that it is. It also means that when you're in a fight, you should be able to take a few bullets to the back. Because you won't literally be taking a bullet to the back this time. <laughs> okay. So much work to get done. We do need to work on these turrets. Now, I can't tell. I think we may have lost a turret. Let's see. Is there a turret under this? Doesn't seem to be. But there is a turret under that. So, yes, we did lose one turret. And that is a bit, a bit of a shame, of course. But I think we can still work with what we've got. Now, I'm thinking we just continue doing plaster walls. Because they can handle... No. Well, we have plaster all around and they can handle the explosion. I believe they can. And we don't have a lot of sandstone around, and I am trying to stockpile it. Okay, how about this? We're going to still just divide it. Um, probably just once will be enough. And build another turret, which requires components, which we don't have. Because people need to do... Well, ah, because people need to get the mining done. But what have we got? An explosion. And Galva will escape now. I know, you're still in restraints. So no, that's still fine. Now, we've just lost all the power. Not that that's going to be an issue, we still have these turbines going on through the night and the geothermal generator helping us going. So, with that, what are we going to do? Because we need to find another bedroom to put Gava in, given that this bed can't be used anymore. Um, suspect orange? Yeah, you're beating the fire out. Awesome. Uh, hopefully the bed isn't too heavily damaged, and Gaga, you won't escape, so don't bother trying. Ed's actually going to grab you. Ed, arrest with a weaver. Oop. And we don't have a place to put her either. Ah, because we don't have a bed. Wrap our wooden walls. See if we can just build this really quickly. Orange, can you build it? You can clean the rubble, but you're not assigned a building. That would be right. Okay, I'm just going to boot Falcon out of their bed then. Michael Prisoner. And Falcon, let's get you... No, actually, Ed can still go and try to arrest Gaga. Should come back fine, yeah. No problemo. And now this is officially turned into a proper, um, a proper, um, what am I saying, prisoner room, or a proper prisoner slash medical ward. Apart from Crocodile at the top and Ed at the bottom. Oops, sorry Ed, I meant to under you as well. You go back to sleep or do whatever you need to do. And yeah, this bedroom will eventually get fixed up and I think we will be unmarking for this prisoner. Because we do have a an official place to put him now. Yes. Okay. So, Falcon, you decided to sleep in this bed. You are now stuck outside in minus 18 degrees temperature, so you should be a little frozen. Um, 
Okay, yeah, yeah, I can follow that. I think you were in one of the previous raids, which hasn't didn't help. Uh, broke up with bats. Yep, that hasn't helped again. Not rivals, not freckles master. Well, we can fix that one. Your rival died. I didn't know you were a rival with Fal. Probably should have been checking the social a little, a little bit more carefully. Okay, well, first thing we can do to at least try and fix your mood is just to put you back with, um, set Freckles Bond back to Falcon. So that's step one, and then hopefully someone will get around to building this wall. Which, I, when I think about it, may not even happen because we've got too many um, bits of other work to get done. Way too many. Yeah, so that's a little bit of a shame. So what are we going to do about it? Well, let people and go about their day. That's probably step one. Um, Stephen has been set up to try and recruit these guys. I don't think Stephen was the best uh, choice. I wonder, how's your social then? Oops, let's see. Social is a seven. It's not the worst. So if we keep an eye on Stephen and Squid, what's the chance? What's the rating? 3.85... Oh, 3.8% chance with... This prisoner was a, what, a 50? 50% 50 recruitment difficulty. Okay, that's not the best, not the best numbers, but it's not the worst. And I suspect that Galgo would be even worse. Yeah, not even a one percent. Well, Stephen, you'll be trying for quite a while. Hmm. Actually, are you still here, Stephen? Uh, maybe uh, I need. I'll grab Stephen because I know uh, grabbing Stephen will be fine. You see what I want to do? I need to get someone to close the door, and then we actually want to build some heaters in. Oh, you can pop out of the room. Hey, yep, door's closed. Awesome. And Zits and Alpha Beavers. Right, I thought we were hunting these Alpha Beavers, which we never got around to hunting. Right, well, it's only a couple. And I suspect the turrets will be able to deal with most of them as they come through. Because we have, what, two turrets to lump and, uh, what, maybe one or two traps. Well, uh, four traps, actually. That's how many traps? Four. That's not many. That is a real shame, honestly. But now we'll let them come in. The, the turrets will, should, should be able to deal with them. Okay, should. Gonna start firing, please. Um, there we go. You change your attention, and yet the turrets should be able to easily deal with them. Um, or not. Okay, Stephen, I'll get you to start firing as well then. Okay, that's one down, and there we go. Second Alpha Beaver down. Uh, is the last of them? Yes, it is the last of them. Awesome, and these guys will be frozen outside. So we have to haul them in. I know it will be affecting the beauty, so actually, yeah, might as well. So, can we get you to haul it in? Let me bottom one in the listing. Let's speed things back up again. Okay, so one of the issues that our prisons are facing is they don't have a table, and they certainly do not have a. What was it? They they're cold. Okay. My thought was if we actually put some vents just from this back room into this um, area which would help heat things up because this does provide quite a bit of warmth it's 24 degrees in here and it's minus 4 outside so that's my thought that's uh, the easiest way I can think of keeping things warm so we're going to do that now it's under miscellaneous I believe or is it under heating and cooling it's under heating and cooling so we'll be putting a vent in every room I suspect we'll just do it behind the bed itself Great thing that it actually lines up fine. Huh, that's really good to see then. And yeah, we should have the steel for it because that's all it requires. And oh, we even get the blocks back. Can't complain there, can I? So how's the warmth going? That is 10, 10, and 9. Uh, minus 15. So it does fluctuate quite heavily. But that should improve your moods. Or will it stop you complaining about the cold? I guess we'll have to wait until it expires. I'm assuming. Hmm, interesting. Well, it is night time once more, so we'll be taking a quick little sleep. Hmm, once again morning in our fair colony. I think this morning we're going to actually do a few things, or build a few things. So, what we're going to work on is we have 271 units of steel. We need 280 to build four traps. Not quite there, but I will actually mark just a couple more to be made, just so we can start getting the crosshair patch, uh, crosshair pattern back so that's one two and that's actually oh sorry that's four now so I didn't count the first one so that should be fine yep and we've got some of the steel and once we of course um, start melting the slag back into proper steel that we can use 
I don't know if we get all the steel back from the slag, but it will definitely help us out. But there is a lot of other work to be done first, I'm expecting. You know what? I might actually just focus on people. So, Bauer, what are you doing? You're stone cutting? Awesome. That's what I want to see. But who's working on the limestone electric crematorium? No one by the looks of it. And I would love it if that was a thing right away. So, crematorium comes under, I think, either hauling and cleaning, possibly? Nope. Under hauling, maybe. Hauling do crematorium builds so anyone with a one should in theory be doing it uh, if that is if it is their first job which i think foo no foo's first job is cleaning rather than holding and it looks like maybe ed yep ed should in theory be doing hauling first and the builds himself so whoops not toxo grab ed and take a look you're playing horseshoes sorry get back to work clean dirt that's that's new. that's not yeah that's not right. Uh, the bills have been set up correct. Burn apparel. Oh wait, we. Hmm. Hmm. Cremate corpse, burn apparel, and burn drugs. No, I'm a little puzzled now. I thought we could get back the slag. Oh, we could get the steel back from the slag. Uh, no, I'm, I'm ultimately confusing myself. Hmm. I'm going to have to look carefully. Maybe it's a table and I haven't seen it. Maybe we don't have the table down. It could be anything. You know, the, the thing I should be doing is looking online. You know, what it probably sounds like the Fjord Smithy. That really sounds like the right thing. Oh, the electric smelter. Oh, there we go. I kept thinking the crematorium was the electric smelter. There it is. What's going on? Smelt metal from slag. No, it has been set up. I am confusing myself. So, the electric smelter then falls under not a crematorium job, but it falls under a smithing job. Uh, either by blacksmith or machining. Okay, what about crafting? Does crafting include... Crafting does include smelting. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. So, maybe we can get someone on crafting then with a little bit more passion. Crocodile, we'll nudge them up a notch, just to actually we're going to nudge them, nudge them right up. So that's our full-time crafter. So crocodile, you should in theory, once you've decided that you're not cooking any more meals, you are a cook, are you? You are a cook. Uh, do we have any other cooks? We do have a few other cooks. I suspect we can drop that down to a two and it should be fine. So you should in theory still finish making the meal. But then you'll go on to cooking more fine meals. No. Now you're cleaning. Now you're cleaning. <sighs> so there are no crafting jobs. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Okay, I'll let you do the cleaning. And now what are you doing? You're filling fermenting barrel. Right. You're cleaning more dirt. I'm confused. Stone cut. You, you, you're, you're stone cutting. No, 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 no. Actually work with the electric motor and get rid of all the slag because you just have so much around. So how much still do you get from that then, crocodile? Once you've done it, uh, that took quite a while as well. You're carrying ten steel, so every steel chunk itself is ten steel. Oh well, we should have a fair amount of steel kicking around. We just got to smelt it, which means crocodile, you need to speed up a little bit, mate. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's good to know, and I've sorted out my confusion. Not the first time I'd be confused, nor will it be the last time I've been confused. So I suspect, I think we'll be leaving... No, we're not, we're not going to leave it quite here. We're going to do just a couple of other small tasks. And unfortunately we are hitting roughly the end point. First thing we're going to do is just add the last bed over here. And then actually go on to making some of the double beds that we need in the other rooms. Hell, actually, I think it may be even worth just marking these rooms to be built. Because it's better that we have them around now than at a later point in time so that should be good and we'll get the wooden doors in as well there and there okay so that's probably just going to use actually that might not use all the sandstone blocks up well we can only find out can we and with that i think we'll make the wooden beds and leave it there so we're about to the wooden beds it comes under fortnite furniture now i would have loved to build a royal bed but we don't have a lot of gold around this colony and i think i might have sold some no i haven't sold any yeah, I'm pretty sure about that. So we're going to actually build some wooden beds. 
Because we have enough water around in this colony. Uh, uh, well, I think we do. 306 units and we're using 70 now. We're perfectly fine. Let's build the double bed along the back wall. Here, here, and just there. Obviously it's going to take a while for people to get around to building it. Just given just the sheer number of tasks uh, that are required to be done. But in the long run, it will be worth it. So, as I said in the part... Oh, um, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have anything to say, feel free to leave it in the comments below. But, as I've said in the past, and will say in the future. I'll see you around sometime.